Hi, can I please get a number one? There you go, dear. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Folks, I'm about to teach you a super big life lesson here. Just got some McDonald's breakfast. It's a pretty good breakfast if you're in a rush, but I have a little tip for you guys. I got the Egg McMuffin, which is my favorite thing to get on the menu. Just this guy right here. Basically, it's just cheese, ham, English muffin, and eggs. It's actually pretty fire, but one thing that a lot of people don't do is I'm about to show you the trick here. What you do is you or you get one of these guys with your breakfast orders. It's like a little hash brown right here what you want to do is open up the English muffin like so okay and then you take this guy right here and you slap it on there like that okay then we put the remainder on top voila this is how you're supposed to eat your egg McMuffin I'm telling you it makes it a bazillion times better we're gonna go in for a little taste test here boys here we go yeah. Fire. But welcome back to the channel. I know you guys are expecting Sam, but it's me. It's John I'm still here on the channel I just don't get to fish or post as many videos as I used to so Sam's been doing a lot of the posting Which he's been doing great, but now it's daddy's turn to come back and actually show these boys how to ice fish I feel like Sam's pretty cheeks at it So I need to come back on here and teach you guys a few things so today's video I was thinking we could do a little Google Maps ice fishing challenge I see this being done all over YouTube for open water and I thought hey, let's see if it works for ice fishing so let's use the Google Maps app to try to find a body of water that I've never fished before and see if we can catch some fish so what I'm gonna do right now is get my little my little cellular phone right here and I'm gonna open up this app and I'm gonna I'm just gonna start looking here and I'm gonna show you guys right here on the screen right here all right there we go we have opened up the internet browser I don't have this app so I'm gonna actually use it on the browser there I am right there I'm at the Love's Travel Shop in Fargo, North Dakota, but I know I want to go fishing out this way somewhere because, like, look at all of these lakes, guys. This is absolutely unreal. And basically, whenever I go fishing around this area, there's so many different lakes uh, in the Minnesota area that I don't know which ones to try out. So what I do is I, I take this app and I just look. I just look for places that look pretty juicy. I'm thinking today I want to fish somewhere around this lake park area just because I've never fished on the lake park area. I know it's pretty close to where I usually fish, which is this area right here, the Detroit Lakes area, but this cuts my drive in half about, I don't know, probably like 20, 25 minutes to any place I usually fish. So if I can find a spot that's closer or where I'm at right now, it can save gas and save money and all that good stuff. So we're gonna look around this lake park area. We got steak. Stocky Lake. Um, honestly, just from looking at this, it looks kind of shallow. I'm not really sure I'm in love with that place. We got a bunch of little ponds like this right here. This is basically a pond. I would, I wouldn't even call this a lake. Roberg Lake. I don't know. It kind of looks like a pond. Probably hard pass on that one. Um, what is this? Boyer Lake. I actually see Boyer Lake all the time when I drive by. It looks okay. Ooh. We got up here, Little Boyer Lake. That's right off the road right there. That looks pretty good. Huh. LaBelle Lake. Okay. I'm liking this because it's right by the city right here. And it's right off this road. And it's not very big. We have a landing right here. As you can see, there's like a red truck and a, a white car right there. So it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to access. Okay, I, I like the looks of this. If you look right here, you see there's a little point right here. And if you look super, super close, you can see underwater the point comes out a little bit. So maybe what I'm thinking is, I'm going to start at this point, a main lake point. I'm just going to drill holes from the deeper end to like the shallower end. And I'm thinking around this point right here, there might be some fish. I have no clue what kind of fish is going to be in here. I like the looks of this lake. It's pretty close to where I'm at. And it doesn't look like I have a far walk to a spot that I want to try. So that's one way you can use this app to kind of just find places. So we're going to drive about eh, 20, 25, 30 minutes to this lake. I'm going to see if I can catch some fish. You know, if there's nothing at this lake, I'm going to open up the app again and I'm gonna go find a new lake but right now I got a 25 minute drive I'll see you guys at the lake 
Dang, other people been looking at Google Maps too, I guess. Well, we have made it to the location, had to stop and get some propane and some minnows, and finally made it out here. It's about 9.20 a.m., so I got a good amount of time to break down this body of water, and there's actually a fair amount of people here, which is pretty surprising. It's a little tiny lake right off the side of the road, so, I mean, I wouldn't have guessed there would have been a lot of people here, but there's actually a lot of people. Now, I know a lot of you local guys are probably down in the comments just, you know, keyboarding away at me and just kind of being like, yo, blah, 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 why are you exposing spots, blah, blah, blah. Listen, guys, chill. Number one, it's obvious this spot's already blown up. I mean, there's a lot of people here. Number two, I wanna show people how I find spots. So this is more of like an informational video so other people can enjoy catching more fish. And number three, I'm filming this like a long time away from when I'm posting it. So by the time you guys see this, the bite may have been dead or something like that. So I'm filming this like a long time away from when I'm actually posting it. So the relevancy is not gonna be there anymore. So all you keyboard warriors down in the comments, just chill. I never expose spots. I usually keep it very hush hush. So just calm down guys. But I am gonna get everything packed up. I'm gonna search around a little bit and I'll see you guys in the shack when I'm set up. All righty folks, we are all set up. We got the heater. Haven't turned it on yet because it's actually pretty warm in here. Got the holes drilled. Got a separate hole for my panoptics so you guys can't roast me. I actually already sent a line down. I have some minnows over there. I just put that down there on a dead stick. Like I said, Garmin in this hole. And I'm gonna be jigging out of this hole with, I'm gonna start out using just this little frostbite tungsten just to kind of get a feel and see what's in here. We're fishing in about about 20 feet of water and I'm getting some marks down there. So I'm excited to see what they are and let's just strap on the GoPro and see what we can do. All right, I am making my first drop down. As you can see me going down there, it was, took me a while to get all the camera set up and my dead stick rods over there now. So we are all good. We are finally fishing folks, fishing about 20 feet of water. And there's fish on the bottom there. There's one actually coming up to me right now. He's all over me. Got him. There's our first fish. What do we have here? Please be, I'm hoping per, oh, just a little bluegill. A little bluegill is the first fish of the day. Nothing too big. So there's obviously a bluegill in here. Hopefully we can get something a little bit bigger than that, but see you later, guy. Uh-oh, my dead stick's getting after it. Oh, I got something. Oh, tighten the drag. The dead stick has a fish. What do we got? This is a minnow too, so this has to be a more decent fish. What do we got? What do we got on the dead stick? Ooh, a little perch. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We got a perch down there. That's the second species of the day on the dead stick. As you can see, buddy absolutely wanted that minnow. Let me just, come on, chill. Let me get this out. There we go. A little perch going back down the hole. Okay. Sick. Got one on the dead stick. So we got one two different ways, which is pretty cool. Oh, my, my panoptics camera died, but I have a, come on. Oh, dude, I got some fish all over me. There we go. I had that one hooked for a while, I think. Getting tangled in the dead stick rod. That's always good for it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy crap. That is a huge ginormous bluegill. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is a huge bull bluegill, boys. Holy crap, dude. All right, about nine inches. Gosh, dang, dude. It's a freaking big one. Wow, I got a huge school down there. I'm gonna take some pictures of this guy, then I'm gonna let him go. Oh shoot, oh shoot, the dead stick, dude. The dead stick, oh my drag, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, my rod just started going on the dead stick. Okay, I don't, I'll, if this is a bluegill, dude, this is a big bluegill. I'm assuming this is like a pike or like a bass or something. I don't know, this thing just absolutely nailed it. Boys, look at this. Come on, be something cool. Come on, be something cool. Come on. Oh, 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 man. He did not like that. He did not like that, dude. Oh, my God, dude. It's a good fish. Oh, greasy little pike. Look at that. What do you know? It was a big old pike. That is freaking awesome. All right, super greasy pike. See you later, my guy. Holy cow. Hey, how's it going guys? I actually made a power move and this is gonna be the right move because I use the panoptics to try to find those big bluegills again. I literally moved the house like 20 feet and I think I found them. So you see me dropping down right now. There I am. I'm gonna see if these are the big bluegills. Come on now, look at them storming up to me. Oh dude, they're all over me. Oh, yep, look at this. 
there we go there he is i only had time to drill one hole so i oh yep yep a tanker all right this is good we found we found the bluegills again oh my goodness about freaking time another big one there we go drop him down get the deucer back in the hole here oh yeah look at him drop back down there come on now look at all these big old bluegills to try to get this one right here oh come on look at this one yep there he is got him oh he's actually not that bad i take that back look at that nice bluegill dude that's crazy i was just as i was just saying i literally moved the house like 10 feet and now look at the difference i was i was only marking tiny little perch over there now I'm marking these giant giant bluegills that's awesome oh man i have like four coming up to me There he is. I waited a second to set the hook on that one because usually they've been taking it super, super slowly. So I've been kind of letting them eat it a little bit longer. Oh yeah, not a bad gill. There we go. Another respectable gill. These these gills are thick. I only caught one that was like super, super long. But like they're all really good eaters. Making my way back down. Gonna get murked by a bluegill. A big old 15 inch blue gill. Come on now. Come on now. He's all over me. He's all over me. Stuck him. There we go. There we go. Oh, snap. Hello. Oh. Yes, there we go. That's why we came here. Using Google Maps to find new lakes. I found a brand new lake now to catch some nice gills. Gilly, gilly, gilly. This definitely does not get old, folks. Come back. Come here. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. Wow. That one up at that one. Holy cow. Oh, this one's a fighter, boys. Come on. Let's see if I can bring it up without pulling, pulling the deucey. Yes, sir. Yes, look at that nice bluegill. Absolutely choked that creek chub. Again, I'm using frostbite jig and plastic. Damn, bro. Out here hammering. All right, well, I think I've freaking started slaying them. You guys could probably watch me catch another 500 fish, but that would kind of bore you. So I'm just going to pack everything up a little bit, then I'll talk to you guys in a second. There we go. Oh, dude, this feels, this feels a little bit nicer. Oh, he's digging. Oh, crappie, crappie. Oh, dude, surprise crappie. Dude, I did not think that they're in here. Literally, as I was picking up, I saw like some bigger marks and I was like, dude, I gotta get down, I gotta get down. I could not help myself. Smacked a pretty nice crappie. That's not bad. I mean, I mean, that's probably like 11 or 12-ish or so, but pretty, pretty good crappie there. Pretty nice shoulders right there, as you can see, but nice little way to end the day, catching a nice crappie like that. Well, 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 what a freaking day. It, was, it wasn't too bad. It is about... 2 p.m. right now. I could have been down this video a lot sooner, but you know, actually I sat out there and just turned off the cameras and did a little fishing just to enjoy some me time. But it was a good day all in all. Ended up finding a pretty banger of a spot. Uh, it was my first spot that I looked at on Google Maps and it was, it panned out. I didn't have to move anywhere else. So that was really awesome. Caught some nice bluegills, a few pretty small perch, and then that nice crappie to end the day, which really, really was the icing on the cake for me. But again, guys, if you want to find new spots, in your area and you don't know where to start start with Google Maps open up that app just kind of take a look around as I was showing you at the beginning of the video I kind of zoomed in and you could actually see stuff underwater that you know you would be able to see just looking landscape view you need that Google Maps kind of aerial view and you can just see a lot of things that you wouldn't expect to see other than that I don't really have much for you thank you so much for all the support lately thanks for supporting Sam I know I don't hop on the channel that much I'm kind of busy uh, you know filming and stuff at Andrew's house and doing all his stuff so I don't get time to, to fish and, and film anymore rest in peace to that but I will come on when I have time I promise you guys I promise you guys I'll never forget about you thank you so much for watching today's video see you guys next time